There is a great history and a great story to be told. In many ways, everything about this place is a hidden treasure. This church, St. McCartan's, on the outskirts of Ahar, was built 176 years ago. The view here from here is quite, quite spectacular. A hundred years ago, four stained glass windows were installed here. We're very proud of them. One of the windows, they depict a native, Archbishop John Hughes. He grew up here locally, and then he emigrated. Uh, to America, uh, to New York, and then he was appointed uh, the first Archbishop of New York. Being from the locality here gave him the idea of if they can build a church like St. McCartan's at Ahar, I'm sure we can build equally as good as he did St. Patrick's, a fine monument, a place that many Irish people go and is still a place of a worship. The windows were definitely in a poor state of repair. There was a lot of uh, water coming from the walls and that's what caused a lot of the rot in the windows. It was a major job to take them out, restore them, make sure that everything went back as detailed. We'll have to look after what we have here, which is very special. I first came to this place about two years ago. My breath was taken away. Just to see it, it sits within a ring fort, so it's got a lot of archaeology around it. Standing stones, stained glass. For us, most importantly, they had shared their heritage. You know, beyond the congregation, they had made this a, a warm and welcoming place for other people to come and visit. It's breathtaking. I think this gives a great recognition to all the people who, over the years, have uh, maintained this church and in many ways what we're trying to do is bring the past into the present and the present into the future.